Hi, uh, Jonathan York Bay Financial Partners, uh, looking at the investment markets. Um, quite interesting time, still in the US. Um, still waiting for uh, any sort of concrete news on that uh, sort of US-China trade talks, although we're uh, still led to believe that it is very close now, and potentially a meeting between President Trump and uh, President uh, Xi uh, could be in the next sort of uh, two to three weeks. Now, obviously, on the back of the very weak uh, sort of performance uh, fourth quarter in the US, uh, many companies sort of downgraded earnings, etc. Um, and it's sort of, sort of been quite interesting to see as it come through now in this sort of first quarter, see how earnings have actually performed. Uh, most of them have actually been uh, quite a bit better than anticipated, um, and a pretty good beat on the street. Now, maybe that's just a consequence of the uh, sort of uh, pretty hefty downgrades towards the end of uh, last year. So, you know, if you look at it on the face of it, uh, you know, the US economy is pushing along at a pretty reasonable rate, still pretty strong, pretty robust. Inflation does appear to be under control. But more importantly as well, sort of corporate earnings are, are sort of pushing on at a pretty good rate. Now obviously that'll be very interesting to see how that sort of feeds into the mix in terms of the uh, Fed's thinking over the next sort of three to six months. Um, clearly rates are still on hold now at the moment until at least sort of uh, June, uh, maybe even September. But in strange sort of irony, uh, you know, it could be quite interesting with the S&P's performance and sort of uh, price earnings ratios and uh, um, performance over the next sort of uh, three to six months. Um, oil companies uh, with higher oil prices coming through after President Trump has really sort of doubled down on Iran and really trying to push their oil exports down to zero. Now that's obviously seen a spike in oil prices, uh, WTI around sort of 65 and change, uh, Brent around 74. Um, you know, what is quite interesting is that, you know, President Trump has been pretty critical recently of sort of higher oil prices and really blaming uh, OPEC uh, for, the, uh, uh, for the higher prices and really saying that OPEC should be doing more to try and push prices down. But on the other hand, you've got President Trump uh, almost sort of being directly responsible for the high oil prices uh, with his stance against Iran. And if you look at it, uh, you know, given the geopolitical issues uh, sort of elsewhere in the world, there's really only Saudi Arabia that can sort of uh, come to the aid and uh, sort of try and push prices down a little bit. But I think, you know, sort of Saudi is still sort of hurting from the sort of weaker prices uh, last year and uh, maybe reluctant to do so. Brexit troubles on, uh, we're now nearly four weeks past the sort of March 29 deadline. Um, still no news on Brexit. Uh, there's obviously that uh, you know, extension now, um, and it's just gonna be very interesting to see how it does sort of play through. Um, still sort of quite a bit of push in the UK for a second referendum. Um, it's hard to see how that's going to take place, but if it was to take place, I suspect the vote will be to stay.
And that then poses all sorts of problems for the, uh, for the MPs, because obviously they're getting quite a bit of pressure from their constituents. Uh, but at the same time, you know, they are honour bound by the referendum that uh, uh, was a couple of years ago that voted to leave. Here in New Zealand, again, the economy is sort of pushing on at a reasonable rate. Um, you know, the, the market is sort of finally come to terms with the fact that, uh, you know, Reserve Bank is potentially looking at uh, a, a further sort of cut in interest rates. Um, you know, certainly that, that has quite a major impact, obviously, for fixed income uh, investors and bonds and also TD rates as well. Now, the government has announced a pretty major U-turn as well after sort of touting the potential for a capital gains tax that has now been shelved. So if you are looking for income options out there, you know, there are plenty of alternatives. So there's some pretty reasonable uh, dividend shares out there that are producing some, you know, pretty reasonable rates um, when you compare with the you know, sort of TD rates around sort of 3, 3.2. Um, if, say, if you are interested in discussing what options are available, call us at 0800 867 323 or go to the website www.bayfinancialpartners.co.nz for lots of interesting articles and we look forward to speaking to you soon.